Hello, everyone. Welcome to my class. This week, we are going to learn Unit 7. It's raining. Today, we are going to focus on Section A, 1A to 2D, and Self-Check 2. First, let's look at what we are going to learn in this class. By the end of the class, you'll be able to First, master some words and expressions of weather and use the target language to talk about weather. Second, use present progressive tense to describe people's activities in different weather. Before starting our lecture, let's play a game. Please look at the picture carefully. There are some hints for you. First, let's guess. What is he doing? We have learned about present progressive tense in Unit 6, so we can guess from his wearing that he is playing basketball. Then there's another challenge for you. How is the weather? Actually, we can see that he is wearing sports clothes and he is doing outdoor sports, so perhaps the weather is quite good. So maybe it's sunny, right? Okay, so now let's check it out. Yes, it's sunny. Please pay attention to the word sunny. Now, please read after me. Sunny. Good. Then, let's come to the next one. What is she doing? We can guess from her wearing that perhaps she is cooking, right? Yes, she is cooking. Then, how is the weather? We cannot see from the picture here, so just make a guess, please. Now, let's check it out. Yes, it's cloudy. Please pay attention to the word cloudy. Now, please read after me. Cloudy. Good. Then, let's move on to another picture. What are they doing? We can say, perhaps these families are watching TV because they're all looking at the same direction, even including the sleepy dog. Yes, we are right. They are watching TV. Then, how is the weather? Just make a guess, please. Now, let's check it out. It's windy. Now, please read after me. Windy. Good. Then, let's come to the next one. What is she doing? At least we know she is not doing her homework because she seems to be really happy, right? Now, let's check it out. Oh, <laughs> she is playing computer games. No wonder she is so happy, right? Then, how's the weather? Just make a guess. Now, let's review the answer. It's raining. Please read after me. Raining. Excellent. Now, please pay attention to the difference between raining and rainy. 两者是有区别的. 回答, how's the weather? 一般用raining. Are raining? For example, I don't like a rainy weather. Then, let's come to the last one. What is she doing? Please make a guess. Now, let's check it out. Oh, she is talking on the phone. Then, how's the weather? Make a guess, please. Now, let's review the answer. It's snowing. Now, please read after me. Snowing. Good. And please pay attention to the difference between snowing and snowy. 回答, how's the weather? 一般用 snowing. Are snowy? 则表示多雪的. For example, I like the snowy weather here. Now, please open your textbook and let's come to 1A. 
first, we can see there are five words on the left. Please read after me. Raining. Raining. Windy. Windy. Cloudy. Cloudy. Sunny. Sunny. Snowing. Snowing. Okay. And then in the picture on the right, we can see there are two people talking on the phone. Perhaps they're talking about different weather in different places. Now, please match the words on the left with the pictures on the right. Now, you can pause and finish the exercises. Have you finished? Now, let's check the answers. Number one, raining. It goes to picture A. Because we can see the rain jobs. Please read after me. It's raining. Number two, windy. It goes to picture B. Because we can see the leaves are floating in the air. So please read after me. It's windy. Number three, cloudy. It goes for picture E. Because we can see the clouds are covering the sky. Read after me. It's cloudy. Number four, sunny. It goes to picture C. Because we can see the sun is shining brightly. It's sunny. Okay, number five, snowing. Goes, f goes to picture D. Because we can see the white snow is covering everywhere. So please read after me. It's snowing. Have you got all the answers right? Now, let's focus on 1B and find out what they are talking about. Please listen and write the city names on the right in the boxes. Now, let's start. Activity 1B. Listen and write these city names in the boxes above. Conversation 1. Hey, Peter. Hi, Tom. How's the weather down there in Shanghai? It's cloudy. How's the weather in Moscow? It's snowing right now. Conversation 2 Hi, Aunt Sally. Hello, Peter. How's the weather in Boston? Oh, it's windy. Conversation 3 So, how's the weather in Beijing? It's sunny. Conversation 4 Hi, Uncle Bill. Hello, Peter. How's the weather in Toronto? It's raining, as usual. Okay, now have you got the answers? Now, let's say the sentences and check the answers at the same time. It's raining in Toronto. It's sunny in Beijing. It's snowing in Moscow. It's cloudy in Shanghai. It's windy in Boston. Now it's your turn to do the pair work. Please make up dialogues based on the pictures. Here's an example. How is the weather in Beijing? It equals to what is the weather like in Beijing? And we can say it's sunny because we can see that in the picture here. So please, now pause and practice. Good. Everyone has done a great job. Now, let's come to 2A. Jim and Linda are talking on the phone. Let's talk about the pictures. First, how many people are there in Linda's family? As we can see from the picture, there are five people in Linda's family. Next question, what are they doing? 
first, we can see the lady is cooking. Linda is talking on the phone. And the girl is watching TV. The boy is playing computer games, perhaps. And the man is playing basketball. Now, let's have a listening activity. Please, listen and number the pictures from 1 to 4 based on your listening. Now, let's start. Section A. Activity 2A. Listen and number the pictures 1 to 4. Hello, Linda. This is Jim. Hello, Jim. Is Uncle Joe there? No, he isn't. He's outside. Outside? It's cold, isn't it? No, it's sunny and really warm. What's Uncle Joe doing? He's playing basketball. Is Aunt Sally there? Yes, she is, but she's busy right now. What's she doing? She's cooking. How about Mary? What's she doing? Not much. She's only watching TV. You want to talk to her, don't you? Yes, thanks. And can I say hi to Jeff, too? Sure. He's just playing computer games. Okay, now let's check the answers. The number should be 2, 3, 4, and 1. Then let's listen again and match the names with the activities. Section A, Activity 2B. Listen again. Match the names with the activities. Hello, Linda. This is Jim. Hello, Jim. Is Uncle Joe there? No, he isn't. He's outside. Outside? It's cold, isn't it? No, it's sunny and really warm. What's Uncle Joe doing? He's playing basketball. Is Aunt Sally there? Yes, she is, but she's busy right now. What's she doing? She's cooking. How about Mary? What's she doing? Not much. She's only watching TV. You want to talk to her, don't you? Yes, thanks. And can I say hi to Jeff, too? Sure. He's just playing computer games. Okay, now let's read the sentences and check the answers. Uncle Joe is playing basketball. Jeff is playing computer games. Mary is watching TV. Aunt Sally is cooking. Have you got all the answers right? Now, let's try to summarize what is happening in the dialogue. Please pause and finish the summary. Have you finished? Now, let's read the sentences and check the answers. This is Linda's family. All the family members are doing different things at 5.10 in the evening. Uncle Joe, Linda's father, is playing basketball outside. And Linda's brother, Jeff, is playing computer games. Mary, Linda's sister, is watching TV to relax. Linda is talking on the phone in her bedroom. But Aunt Sally, Linda's mother, it's very busy right now because she is cooking. Next, let's listen to another dialogue and answer the questions. Are you ready now? Okay, let's start. Section A. Activity 2D. Role play the conversation. Hello, Rick speaking. Hi, Rick. It's Steve. How's it going? Not bad, thanks. The weather's great. What are you doing? I'm playing basketball with some friends at the park. Sounds like you're having a good time. Yeah, 
Is your brother at home? Oh, he's not here. He's studying at his friend's home. Can I take a message for him? Yes. Could you just tell him to call me back? Sure, no problem. Okay, now let's check the answers. First question. Are they talking face to face or talking on the phone? We know the answer should be they are talking on the phone because we just heard hello Rick speaking, which is a typical greeting on the phone. Next one, who does Steve want to talk to? It is Rick's brother. Now let's open the textbook and read for more details. Now you can pause and finish the exercises on your notebook. Have you got the answers? Okay, now let's read the sentences and check the answers. First, how's it going with Rick? Not bad. Next one, what's the weather like? The weather is great. What is Steve doing? He is playing basketball with some friends. Next one, where is Rick's brother? At his friend's home. Please pay attention to the word at. Last question. What is Rick's brother doing? He is studying. Good. Now, let's focus on the language points in the dialogue and then do the role play. Let's pay attention to the words in red. Rick speaking. It equals to this is Rick speaking. 常用于接听电话时的自我介绍。要与某人通话时可说, May I speak to Rick, please? How's it going? 以为最近怎么样, 用于询问对方近况。For example, how's it going? You can say, great, fine, not bad. Can I take a message for him? 需要帮对方烧口信时可以说, Can I take a message for him? 想要留个口信的时候可以说, May I leave a message? Now, it's your time to pause and role-play the conversation. Okay, have you finished? Good job! You may practice more after class. Now, boys and girls, please finish the exercises in self-check 2 on your textbook. Please read and match. Okay, now let's read the sentences and check the answers. Hello, Jenny speaking. Hi, Jenny. It's Steve here. May I speak to Laura, please? Sorry, she's not at home. Can I take a message? Yes. Could you ask her to call me at 8765-4321? Sure, no problem. Thanks. Bye. Okay, that's all for today's class. Let's have a summary. In this class, we have learned. First, some words and expressions of weather, and how to use the target language to talk about weather. Second, how to use present progressive tense to describe people's activities in different weather. As for homework, there are two things you are supposed to do. First, make up a new dialogue based on 2D. Second, Finish the exercises on the worksheet and check the answers. Okay, that's all for today. Thank you for your listening. See you next time. Good morning, everyone. Welcome to my class. Today, we are going to focus on Unit 7. 
Section A, 3A to 3B. First, let's check what we are going to learn today. By the end of the class, you'll be able to first know how to use how's it going and answer properly. Second, describe people's activities in different weather by using present progressive tense. Third, use the simple present tense and the present progressive tense properly according to the context. People do different things and have different mood in different weather. Now, please look and say. First, let's focus on the first picture. We can see there is a little girl running on the beach. She is wearing a white dress and she is holding a kite. We can see from her expression that she is really happy. At first environment, we can see the weather is pretty good and the water is really clear and the beach, it is quite clean. So now let's look and say, how's the weather? It's sunny. What is she doing? She is running and flying a kite. How's it going? We can say, great. Please pay attention to the words in red. And now, please read after me. How's it going? Great. Now, let's move on to another picture. We can see from the picture that there are two kids and one snowman. Both the girl and the boy are wearing hats, scarves, gloves, and boots. As for the snowman, he is also wearing a hat and a scarf. So we can know the two kids are building a snowman, just like what Elsa and Anna do in the movie Frozen. As for their feelings, we can know that the girl and the boy are pretty happy because we can see that from their face. As for the environment, we can see there is snow covering everywhere. So the weather must be snowy or snowing. So now let's look and say, how is the weather? It's snowing. What are they doing? They are building a snowman. How's it going? Pretty good. Now please read after me. How's it going? Pretty good. Now, let's focus on the next picture. We can see there is a lady and a dog in the picture, and perhaps she is the owner of the dog. We can see she is wearing a coat and a pair of boots. Also, she is holding an umbrella. We can see from their expressions that although it is raining, they seem to be okay because they have got an umbrella. As for the environment, we can see it is raining really hard because even the leaves are falling along with the raindrops. So now let's look and say, how is the weather? It's raining. What is she doing? She is walking her dog. How's it going? Not bad. Now, please read after me. How's it going? Not bad. Okay, finally, let's focus on the last picture. We can see there is a little boy who is wearing a t-shirt. So we can guess, perhaps it is summertime. Then we can find he is walking painfully because we can tell that from his face. Then we can find a strong wind is blowing because even his cap has already been blown away by the wind. 
So, let's check. How is the weather? It's windy. What is he doing? He is walking. How's it going? Terrible. So now, please read after me. How's it going? Terrible. Good. Now, let's have a summary about how questions. How 引导的特殊疑问句和问答，问天气和打招呼。First, let's focus on the first line. How's the weather? Equals to What's the weather like? We can answer the question with It's cloudy. It's sunny. It's windy. It's rainy. It's snowy. Please pay attention. 描述天气的形容词往往在名词后面加后缀 y 构成。And here are more examples. Storming, 暴风雨的 ；icy， 结冰的 ；foggy， 多雾的 ；sleeting， 下雨加雪的 ；hailing， 下冰雹的。Now let's focus on the second line. How questions 用于打招呼 How's it going? And we can answer the question with Great, pretty good, not bad, terrible. How's it going? 是打招呼的寒暄语，意为近来怎样。相似表达如下 What's up? How are you doing? How's everything? And we can know the Chinese meaning of the four expressions from the little faces. Great means 棒极了 Pretty good means 相当不错 Not bad means 还行吧 Terrible means 糟透了 Now let's focus on present progressive tense. First. Let's try to reveal the structure of this tense. It is 助动词 be, am, is, are 加动词的 ing 形式 Can you recall your memory? Good. Then let's try to learn the usage of this tense. First, 表示现在，也就是说话瞬间正在进行或发生的动作或状态 You have learned about this usage in Unit Six, right? For example, what are you doing? I'm cooking. Another example, they are playing basketball in the park. Now you can pause and write down some notes, and please make up a new sentence based on this usage. Now, have you finished? Okay, let's continue to the second usage. 现在进行时还可以用来表示当前一段时间内的活动或近期正在进行的动作或发生的状态 Please pay attention. This usage is new, and it is in red, right? Because it is really important. For example, we can say, "I'm reading a history book this month." 我这个月以来一直在读一本历史书。Another example: We are working on a farm these days. 近日我们一直在农场上工作。Okay, so now you can pause and take down some notes on your notebook, and you have another ten seconds to make up a new sentence by yourself based on the second usage. Now we start. Now let's think about a question. We have learned about simple present tense before, and now we are learning a new tense. 
So, what are the differences between the two tenses? There is a chart, and you can see the sentences in the first column is in simple present tense, and the sentences in the second column is in present progressive tense. So now, it's your time to look at these sentences carefully and try to find out the differences between the two tenses. Let's begin. Okay, have you finished? Okay, let's check the answers together. 一般现在时和现在进行时的区别主要有以下几种。首先，用法。一般现在时表示经常的、习惯性的动作，而现在进行时表示正在进行或发生的动作。请注意，这儿的正在可以表示说话的当下，同时呢，也可以表示当前的一
Okay, now let's check the answers. Picture A. We can see it's sunny and warm because the boy is wearing a t-shirt and the sun is shining. And we can see he is playing the guitar. Please pay attention to the phrase, play the guitar. Picture B. It's windy because we can see the wind is blowing and they are hiking with hat and backpack. Picture C. It's snowing and they are cooking with a pot. Picture D. It's hot and wet because we can see the boy is wearing a pair of shorts and a t-shirt and he is sitting in a rainforest so we can see the weather must be hot and wet and we can see he is writing on a piece of paper last picture it's raining and they are playing soccer next let's try to have a report here is an example hello everyone i am yuan yuan a reporter from CCTV. Today is... Martin is in Beijing. It is sunny and warm. He is playing the guitar with friends. As for Li Ming, people around China are doing different things in different weather conditions. So, weather is very important in our daily life. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Now it's your time to pause and practice. Okay, that is all for this class. And now let's have a summary. In this class, we have learned First, how to use how's it going and answer properly. Second, how to describe people's activities in different weather by using present progressive tense. Third, how to use the simple present tense and the present progressive tense properly according to the context. As for homework, you have two things to do. First, review grammar focus on page 39. Second, Finish the exercises on the worksheet and check the answers. Okay, that is all for today. Thank you for your listening and see you next time. Hello everyone, welcome to the class. Today we are going to learn Unit 7. Section B, 1A to 1E, and self-check 1 and 3. First, let's check what we are going to learn today. By the end of the class, you'll be able to First, know more description words about weather. Second, improve listening skills by listening for key information. Third, talk about the weather, feelings, and activities, what people are doing, in different seasons. Okay, next, let's watch a video. And when you are watching the video, please pay attention to the words about weather, okay? So now, let's enjoy the video. And now it's 5 to 9 and time for the weather forecast. Let's go over to Carla Dane at the London Weather Centre. Carla. Thanks, John, and good morning. Last month was unusually cold and dry, but all that will change in the next few days. From today, the wind will blow from the southwest. It will bring in warm air from the Atlantic and we'll have some rain. Rain will come in gradually from the southwest this evening. 
The whole country will have some rain showers in the next three days. Some of them will be heavy. Temperatures will rise to 12 degrees Celsius in the day. Night temperatures will fall to 4 degrees Celsius. Okay, now we know it is a TV program. And to be more accurate, it is a weather forecast. 天气预报. Okay, so now let's brainstorm and check the words you hear. First one, cold. Read after me, cold. 寒冷的. Next one, dry. Dry. 干燥的. Warm. Warm. 温暖的. And the last one, rainy. Rainy. Actually, we know more words about weather, right? Because we know sunny, and we know cloudy, snowy, and windy. And today, we are going to introduce more words about weather. For example, cool, read after me, cool, 凉爽的. Icy, icy, 多冰的. Hot, hot, 炎热的. Wet, wet, 潮湿的. Good. Then, let's learn more words about different weather. For example, stormy, stormy, 暴风雨的. Next one, showery, showery, 震雨的. Sleeting, sleeting, 下雨加雪的. Hailing, hailing, 下冰雹的. Foggy, foggy, 有雾的. Frosty, frosty, 结霜的. Freezing, freezing, 结冰的. Thunder and lightning. Thunder and lightning. 打雷闪电. Okay, then. It's your time to do some practice. As you can see, there are four pictures on the screen. And they stand for spring, summer, autumn, and winter. Okay, now let's practice. What do you feel in spring? I feel relaxed. What's the weather like in spring? It's warm. What do you like to do in spring? I like admiring the flowers. Okay, here is an example about spring. Okay, next one about summer. What do you feel in summer? I feel excited. What's the weather like in summer? It's hot. What do you like to do in summer? I like swimming. Next one, autumn. What do you feel in autumn? I feel relaxed and pretty good. What's the weather like in autumn? It's cool. What do you like to do in autumn? I like appreciating the yellow leaves. Okay, the last one, winter. What do you feel in winter? I feel excited. What's the weather like in winter? It's cold. What do you like to do in winter? I like going skiing. Okay, that's my examples. And now it's your time to pause and practice. Okay, now please open your textbook and let's finish self-check one. Add more words in each box. As you can see from the chart, you should think of as many words as possible about feelings, weather, and activities in different seasons. So now, please pause and finish the exercises. Okay, have you finished? Okay, now let's check the answers. It is a possible version for you. We can say, I feel pretty good. 
in spring. The weather is warm and wet, and I like admiring flowers in spring. As for summer, it's great. The weather is hot and dry, and I like going swimming. As for autumn, it is not bad, because the weather is cool and rainy, and I can go hiking every day. As for winter, it is terrible, because the weather is cold and freezing, and I have nothing to do, so I have to stay at home all the time. Okay, now it's your time to practice. Please pay attention to. Give the report in first person. Okay, please now pause and practice. Now let's focus on one A. Match the words with the pictures. Now you have thirty seconds to finish the exercises. Now let's pause. Okay, have you finished? Now let's check the answers. First one, dry. It goes to picture B because we can see there is a camel, and we can see the weather is quite dry because it is in a desert, right? Next one, cold. It goes to picture A because we can see a girl. And she is wearing really warm clothes, and she is wearing a hat, a scarf, a pair of gloves, and a pair of boots. And we can also see there are no leaves on the tree, and there are eyes on the roof. So it must be cold. Next one, cool. It goes to picture E. We can see there is a girl, and she is wearing sweater and skirts. And please pay attention to the tree behind her. We can see it is golden because it is the color of the leaves. So we know it must be autumn. So the weather should be cool. Next one, warm. It goes to picture B because we can see there are mountains, waters,、uh, green plants, and birds, and also the sun. So. It is warm, and the last one, hot. It goes to picture C. We can see a lady is、uh, sitting here on a couch, and she is sweating, and she is wearing a dress. So it must be summer, and she is really hot. And we can also see there is a fan over her head, right? So that's the answers. Have you got all the answers right? Then let's come to one B. Ask and answer questions about the weather in the pictures in one A. It is a pair work. So here's an example. How's the weather in picture D? You can say it's dry. So now it's your time to pause and practice. And please pay attention. You can play the two rows at the same time. Okay. Have you finished? Excellent. Now let's come to one C. Listen and complete the chart. Let's focus on the dialogue between Mary and Eric, and let's try to find out how's it going with both of them, and what are they doing, and how's the weather. Are you ready now? Okay. Now let's start. Section B, Activity One C. Listen, and write what Mary and Eric answer to. How's it going? Hello, Eric. Mary. Hi. Where are you? I'm in Mexico. I'm calling to say happy birthday. Oh, thanks. So, how's it going there? Great. How's it going with you? Not bad. What are you doing? I'm having a party. My family is here. Oh, that sounds like fun. How's the weather? Terrible. It's cold and it's raining. How's the weather in Mexico? Hot, hot and dry, 
And sunny. Sounds good. Uh-huh. So, what are you doing there? I'm visiting my grandmother. Okay, that is the first listening. Have you got all your answers? If the answer is no, please don't worry, because we are going to listen for one more time. Please pay attention. Section B, Activity 1C. Listen, and write what Mary and Eric answer to. How's it going? Hello, Eric? Mary? Hi, where are you? I'm in Mexico. I'm calling to say happy birthday. Oh, thanks. So, how's it going there? Great. How's it going with you? Not bad. What are you doing? I'm having a party. My family is here. Oh, that sounds like fun. How's the weather? Terrible. It's cold and it's raining. How's the weather in Mexico? Hot. Hot and dry. And sunny. Sounds good. Uh-huh. So, what are you doing there? I'm visiting my grandmother. Okay. Now, it's time for us to check the answers. First, let's focus on Mary. How's it going? It's not bad. What is she doing? She is visiting her grandmother. How's the weather? It's hot, dry, and sunny. Okay, then about Eric. How's it going? It's great. What is Eric doing? He is having a party. How's the weather? It's terrible, cold, and raining. Have you got all your answers right? If yes, then congratulations. Okay, now let's retell the story based on the chart. Here is a sample. Mary is calling Eric to say happy birthday in Mexico. The weather there is hot, dry, and sunny. She is visiting her grandmother. She thinks it's not bad. As for Eric, he thinks it's great because he is having a birthday party. As for the weather, it is terrible, cold, and raining. Okay, now it's your time to pause and practice. Okay, now let's move on to self-check three. Put the following sentences in order to make a conversation. Now please pause and practice. Okay, have you finished? Okay, let's check the answers by reading the sentences. First, hi, Jill. How's it going? Not too bad. How's the weather in Nanjing? It's raining and very cool. What are you doing in the rainy weather? I'm reading a book in my room. Okay, that's all the important sentences we have learned in this class. Have you got all the answers right? Okay, that is all for today's class. Now, let's have a summary. In this class, we have learned First, more description words about weather. Second, how to improve listening skills by listening for key information. Third, how to talk about the weather, feelings, and activities. What people are doing in different seasons. Okay, the last part, homework. First, Please listen and repeat after one C. Second, please finish the exercises on the worksheet and check the answers. And that is all about today. Thank you very much and hope to see you next time. Hello, boys and girls. Welcome to our English class. Today, we're going to learn Unit 7, 
section B, 2A to 2C. Before we start, let's check what we are going to learn today. By the end of the class, you will be able to First, get specific information by reading. Second, know the basic structure of postcard writing. Next, let's play a game. Look and guess. How's the weather? Can you see from the picture? Yes, we can see the sun here, so it's sunny. Then, what is the girl doing? Can you make a guess? Okay, now, let's try to reveal the answer. Oh, she is sitting by the pool and drinking orange juice. Now please read after me. She is sitting by the pool and drinking orange juice. Then, let's move on to another picture. How's the weather? We can see from the sky, there are a lot of clouds. And we can see there are mountains. So the weather should be cool and cloudy. And what are they doing? Can you make a guess? We can see that he is wearing a cap and the man behind him is wearing a backpack. And they are holding hands. Perhaps they are helping each other to march. Xing Jing. So, let's make a wild guess. Perhaps they are, yes, climbing a mountain, right? So, please read after me. They are climbing the mountain. Good. Then, let's move on to another picture. How's the weather? We can see from the window that it is dark now, and it is raining really hard. What is a girl doing? She seems to be happy. Is she playing with her cell phone? Let's check it out. No, she's writing something. Okay, we can see she is writing a letter in her room because we can see there is an envelope here, right? So now please read after me. She is writing a letter in her room. Excellent. Next, let's read and find out what is happening among the three people in 2A. But before reading, let's look at this picture. And I have two questions for you. First, what's this? Is this a letter? Please think. No, right? The answer is no. Because we can see there is a stamp at this corner, right? And also, we can see all the words directly on the paper. So it is not enclosed in an envelope. So it is not a letter. Instead, it's a postcard. Read after me, postcard, 明信片, good. Then, let's think about when do people write a postcard and what is it used for? Actually, we know the other side of the postcard is usually pictures of beautiful sceneries around the world. So, when we travel, we may send postcards with our words and beautiful sceneries to our friends and relatives to send for our good wishes. Okay. Okay, then, let's focus on 2B and have our first reading. Read and match each postcard with the correct picture in 2A. Before we start, we'd better skim the postcards. We can see Dear Jane and here Su Ling. So we can see this picture comes from Su Ling and it is sent to Jane. And this picture is from Dave to Jane. So there are three persons involved in the story. They are Su Ling, Dave, and Jane. Okay, now please read 
the postcards and try to match the postcard with the correct picture in two A. Don't forget to underline the proof. Okay, now please pause and practice. Okay, have you finished? Okay, now let's check the answers. The first postcard must go to picture A. And the sentences are here. I'm sitting by the pool and drinking orange juice. It's warm and sunny. Okay, so from this picture, we can see the girl's name is Su Ling. Next one. It goes for picture B. Because we can see my family and I are on a vacation in the mountains. And the weather here is cool and cloudy. It matches the picture B really well. So, we know the boy must be Dave. Next, after skimming, let's read for more detailed information. So now, let's read and choose. Here are two questions for you. First one, what is Su Ling doing in the summer school? Next one, how is it going with Su Ling in Canada? So please now pause and read and find the answers. Have you finished? Okay, let's check the answers. First one, what is Su Ling doing in the summer school? She is studying English. And the proof is in passage one, line three. Let's read the sentence together. I'm studying English. Number two, how is it going with Su Ling in Canada? The answer should be B. She is having a great time. And the sentence is in passage one, line one. I'm having a great time visiting my aunt in Canada. Have you got the answers right? Okay, then let's read the postcard too and try to find the answers of question three and question four. Please now pause and practice. Okay, have you finished? Okay, let's check the answers. Number three, why doesn't Dave call Jane? The answer is C, his phone isn't working. And we can find the answers in passage two, line five. My phone isn't working. Number four, when will Dave see Jane again? The answer should be B, next month. It is in passage two, line eight. See you next month. If you have got all your answers right, then congratulations. Now, let's have our last reading. Please read, fill in the chart, and find the logic of the passage. Now, please pause and finish the exercises. Okay, now let's check the answers. First, let's talk about Su Ling. Where is she? She is in Canada. How's the weather? It is warm and sunny. What is she doing? She is doing a lot of things. So we can say, she is visiting her aunt, studying English, visiting old friends, sitting by the pool, and drinking orange juice. So now, what about Dave? Where is he? He is in Europe. How's the weather? It's cool and cloudy. What is he doing? He is walking the mountains and writing to Jane. Okay, then, 
Let's try to analyze the structure of the postcard. Dear Chang, it is called the salutation. Chung Wei. How's it going? It is called the opening. Then we can see what's in the blue brackets is the main content. It includes the location, the activities, the weather, and the feelings, etc. And then, see you soon is the closing. And don't forget to have Su Lin here because it is the signature. Luo Quan. So, that is the structure of a postcard. Please take down some notes. Okay, now, let's focus on the language points in the two postcards. Please pay attention to the words in red. I'm having a great time visiting my aunt in Canada. Have a great time in doing something. 以为享受做某事，玩得愉快. For example, we have a great time in playing tennis. She's working here, and I'm going to summer school. We can see this sentence is using present progressive tense. 现在进行时，用在这里。可以表示当前一段时间，手头上正从事的事情，比用一般现在时所写相同概念的句子读起来更加的形象逼真。所以这句话的意思是，我的姑姑最近正在上班，然后我一直正在上暑期学校。For example, I'm learning French these days. 最近我在学习法语。I want to call you, but my phone isn't working. Work, 用来表示仪器或者设备的运作、运行、工作。而这种情况下，如用于否定结构 isn't working， 则大多表示某一物件坏掉了或者不运作了。For example, the clock isn't working now. 这个钟表现在不走了。After reading, let's have a free talk. There are different weather in different countries. Do you know an extreme weather which can be a disaster? I'll show you some pictures. First one, typhoon. Typhoon. Perhaps this word comes from Chinese. Next one, drought. Hanzai. Next one, snowstorm, 雪暴. Next one, tsunami, 海啸. Next one, sandstorm, 沙暴. And the last one, haze or smog, 雾霾, which is really typical in Beijing, right? So, we can see people are suffering in these conditions. So, we can see extreme weather is changing our life. It's time to act to protect the Earth together. Now, let's think about the following two questions. First, what do you think of our environment? Are you satisfied? If not, please think of the next question. What should we do to change this situation? Please pause and think seriously. After thinking, now let's check what we can do to change this situation. First, live a low-carbon life. 过低碳生活. Next, reduce, reuse, and recycle. 减少使用, 重复使用, 以及循环使用. Plant more trees, 
种植更多的树木。Keep the city clean， 保持城市的干净。Save water and electricity， 省水省电。And the last one， call on other people to protect the earth， 号召他人一起保护地球。Protecting the environment is every person's responsibility. We shall survive and thrive together. 保护地球环境是每一个人的责任，同呼吸，共命运。Now let's have a summary about today's class. In this class, we have learned first. How to get specific information by reading? Second, the basic structure of postcard writing. Okay, now let's come to the last part, homework. First, please read the text in two B and review the structure of postcard writing. Second, please finish the exercises on the worksheet. And check the answers. And that is all for today. Thank you, and hope to see you next time. Hello, everyone. Welcome to the English class. Today is the last lecture of Unit Seven. It's raining. And today we are going to focus on Section B, 3A to 3C, which is the writing part. Before our lecture, we have to check about what we are going to learn today, as usual. By the end of the class, you'll be able to first write a postcard to your friend. Next. Polish your writing by using target language. At first, let's review what we have learned in the last lecture. We have known the structure of postcard writing, and we know when people travel, they may send pictures and words in a postcard to their friends or relatives to show their best wishes. So when we talk about postcards, it reminds us of traveling and vacation. So、uh, let's have a warm-up activity. So let's talk about people's vacation based on the given words and pictures. You can see there are two pictures here. The first one includes a mountain, which is really famous. You know, you know it, right? It is Mount Fuji in Japan, 日本的富士山 And Japan is a country which is really famous for its flowers, sakura, 樱花 So, let's check what we can say about these two pictures. Here are some hints. Japan, warm, enjoy the flowers. For example, they are in Japan. The weather is warm. People are enjoying the flowers. Okay, that is an example. So now, because today we are going to write a postcard to our friends, so let's imagine we are having a vacation in Japan. So let's try to retell these sentences in the first person. Okay, then we can say. I am in Japan. The weather is warm. I am enjoying the flowers. Good. Now it's your time to practice. Okay. Then let's move on to another place. As we can see from the first picture, there are two girls wearing special clothes, and both of them are wearing a crown made of flowers. And in picture two, we can see the blue ocean, the clean beach, and 
at this corner, we can see a coconut tree. So, here are some keywords for you. Hawaii, hot, sunbathing, and swimming. Please pay attention to the word sunbathe. It means 晒日光浴. Okay, these are all the clues. So, here is an example. You can say they are in Hawaii. The weather is hot. People are sunbathing and swimming. Okay, now please imagine this is your vacation and retell the sentences in first person. You can pause and practice. Okay. Now, let's come to another page. Okay, now let's move on to another place. First, let's look at picture one. We can see there is a famous tower. And we know it is located in Toronto, Canada. Why? Because we have learned about it in section A, lecture one. And its name is Canada's National Tower. Okay, then let's focus on the second picture. We can see there is a lady and a little kid. And we can see the trees around them has already turned yellow. So perhaps it is autumn. So now let's check the words given. Canada, cool, admiring the leaves. So we can talk about the two pictures from the three following aspects. Place, weather, activities. So now let's try. Okay, are you ready? Okay, the first sentence can be, we are in Canada. The next one, it is cool. And the last one, we are admiring the leaves. Okay, good. Okay, then let's come to the last place, which is the most beautiful place in my opinion. Okay, as you can see from picture one, there are snow mountains and there are green trees, green leaves and little white houses. And I do think this picture is just like the picture coming from a fairy tale book. Do you think so? Okay, so do you know which country it is? Can you guess? If your answer is no, please look at the second picture because there are some hints for you. We can see there is a flag and actually it is the national flag of Switzerland, Rich. And when we talk about Switzerland, we can think of beautiful sceneries and also we can think of skiing. So let's check the words which are gathered here. Switzerland, cold, skiing. So now let's try to describe our vacation in Switzerland from the three aspects. Place, weather, activities. Here is an example. We can say, we are in Switzerland. The weather is pretty cold. We are skiing here happily. Okay, now please move on to 3A. We have talked about our imaginary vacation in Japan, in Hawaii, in Switzerland, and in Canada. Now it's our time to focus on the vacation of Kate. And let's try to find out what is happening in her vacation. And now let's fill in the blanks with the words in the box. Skating, buying, playing, taking, snowy, windy. Now please finish the postcards with the words given. Now let's pause and write the answers on your book. Okay, have you finished? Okay, now let's check the answers. Dear Xiao Lu, it's winter in Harbin. The weather is 
windy and snowy. People are wearing hats and sweaters, but they're having fun. Friends are buying Russian bread to take home. In a park, some boys are playing in the snow. One girl is skating on a river, and a man is taking a photo of a snowman. I miss you, Kate. Have you got all the answers right? If yes, then congratulations. Then let's analyze the structure of the postcard. We can see the first part is about the place. Second part is about the weather. And the last part is about things people are doing, which is also the main part. Now let's have a summary. When we talk about our vacation, we can talk about the followings. First, where are you? Which means we should talk about the place. Next, what's the weather like? It means we should talk about the weather of our location. Then, what are you doing right now? And what are your friends or family doing right now? It means we should talk about our daily activities, especially our activities for now. And last, are you having good time? It means we should talk about the feelings. So from this we can see, place, weather, activities, and feelings are very important when we are writing a postcard. Now let's move to spray C, and it's your time to practice. Let's write a postcard to a friend. But before we start, let's make an outline first. We have learned how to write the outline. It should include three parts: salutation, main body, and the signature. And in the main body, we should include the opening, the main content. And the clothing. So now, let's try to learn some useful sentences in writing a postcard. As for salutation, you can say "dear," for example, "dear Jason." Then, as for the main body, the opening, you can say "how's it going." And as for the main content, we should include the four aspects we talked about. For example, we can say, "My family and I are on a vacation." That is the topic sentence of this paragraph. Then we can say, "It's summer in Hawaii. The weather is sunny and hot. I am swimming in the swimming pool. My father is drinking tea. We are having a good time." So we can see the are the location, weather. Activities and feelings in this part, and the closing. You can say, "I look forward to hearing from you." 十分期待听到你的消息 Or you can say, "I miss you." And don't forget to write the signature here. For example, I can say, "Yvette." Okay. So now it's your time to write your postcard. So now please pause and write your postcard on your notebook. Have you finished your writing? Okay, then let's appreciate sample A. Dear Jason, how are things with you? Are you having fun this summer vacation? I'm enjoying myself with my family in Hawaii. The weather here is very warm and sunny, and it's very relaxing here. Some people are swimming in the sea. My family and I are lying on the beach and sunbathing. I feel great. It's a wonderful vacation, Yvette. Please pay attention to the word sunbathing. It means 晒日光浴 Okay, now let's focus on sample B. 
and let's try to find the good expressions in this passage. Dear Jason, how's your winter vacation? Beijing is cold now, isn't it? Let's stop here and focus on isn't it. We can see it means 难道不是吗? 此处是一处反义疑问句. Let's continue. I'm having a great time visiting Hawaii, America. The weather here is sunny and hot. A lot of people are enjoying their free time in the sea or on the beach. Some are surfing. They look cool that many people are watching them. Others are swimming freely. Let's stop here and pay attention to some others. It means 一些,另一些. You can take down some notes if you like. Look at the groups of people lying on the beach. They are sunbathing. How relaxed they are. Please pay attention. How relaxed they are. 此处是一处感叹句. 表感叹时,我们可以用how加上形容词或副词,再加上主语和动词. For example, how clever he is. 以为他多么聪明啊. Let's continue. It's afternoon right now, and I'm having fun watching a show in the movie world. I'm surprised to see such wonderful performances. I miss you. Take care. Now please pay attention to take care. It means 保重,尊重. It is a very common greeting in our daily life. And don't forget to sign your names here. Okay, this is the end of this class. And now let's have a summary. In this class, we have learned first, how to write a postcard to our friend. Next, how to polish the writing by using the target language. Finally, as for homework, first, please polish your writing after class. And second, please finish the exercises on the worksheet and check the answers. And that is all about Unit 7. Thank you for listening. See you next time.